All right, we're gonna make simple echo and delay effects in Max MSP using tap in and tap out. We'll start with an audio input, ADC tilde. We'll connect that to a meter tilde just so that we can see the signal coming in. And then our first delay object is tap in tilde and we'll do a space and the argument is the maximum delay time you would want. So I'm doing 5,000 milliseconds, which is five seconds. You can connect your ADC directly to the tap in. Now the tap in is gonna create a delay line, but we don't hear anything yet. So now we need tap out tilde. Tap out reads from that delay line. So we're gonna connect tap in to tap out. We'll add a number box. So I is the hotkey for that. Connect the number box directly to tap out. And this will be our delay time. Let's add another meter after tap out so that we can see the delayed audio signal. And we'll change our number here. So let's do 500 milliseconds or a half a second. And you can see now that uh, in the two meters that the audio signal is delayed. So let's make sure we can hear it. We're gonna add a gain tilde object, connect the tap out to the gain. We'll add a DAC, which is our audio output. We'll connect gain to the left and right inlets of the DAC so that we have stereo sound and turn up the gain and we'll start to hear, the, we'll start delayed to hear the delayed signal. So lower numbers, so lower numbers here, here are, going are going to give, to give us, us a shorter, shorter delay, delay time, time. And higher numbers and, here and higher numbers here are going to give us a much longer delay time, much longer delay time. So uh, doing this at home, there's one more thing you're going to want, which is a dry signal. So this is our delayed signal, but we're going to want to add another gain. We'll connect it directly from the ADC, and then we'll connect that to the left and the right outputs of the DAC. So. This left gain will, will be, be our real-time real non-delayed signal, and the right gain and the will be right our delayed signal. Will be our delayed signal. So that is simple delay. All right. So to add feedback to our simple delay setup, we are going to need to get the signal from tap out, the delayed signal, back into tap in. However, we're going to want that signal to be a little bit quieter so that every time it is fed back into the system, it uh, is a little bit quieter and fades away over time. So we can do this with a single object. We're going to add another gain tilde. OK, so now we're going to take the tap out signal and go into the inlet of the gain. And then the output of the gain, we're going to go into the input of tap in. So now the signal comes out of tap out. The gain object will change the volume of that delayed signal and then it will go back into the original delay line so let's turn this up we'll set our delay time to 250 250 okay okay so now we have a single repetition as i turn this gain up we'll have multiple repetitions Pretty cool. Pretty, cool. Pretty, cool. Pretty cool. So the lower, so the lower this, is, this is, the fewer, the fewer repetitions, repetitions you'll, you'll have. And the higher it is, the more repetitions, repetitions you'll have. There's a point, there's a point about, about, about here. 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 here let me turn, let me this, turn down. this down. Let me turn this down too. All right. There's a point about here where uh, we, instead of decreasing the volume, we'll increase the volume. So if we turn our feedback past that point, then we're going to get that kind of out of control feedback, which could be really interesting to play with, but uh, it can also get out of control. So be careful. So that is simple feedback delay. Okay, so here's another cool thing we're going to do. Let's get rid of our feedback for now. Um, okay, and what we can do is take all of these objects, we'll, we'll forget the uh, dry level gain for now, but take all the objects uh, around the tap out and duplicate them. So select them and then do command D and we'll pull this over so we have a little more space. And let's make four of these. So I'm gonna do command D two more times. So what we can do is connect a single delay line from a tap in to many 
outputs to many tap outs. I'm going to lock the patch and then let's set these delay times uh, each with a different number. So we'll do the first one will do 200, the next one will do 400, the next one will do 600, and the last one will do 800. And then what we can do is uh, let's set the volume, volume for, for each, each repetition, repetition of the of delay. delay. So, 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 so we have four. We have four. We have four, we have four distinct repetitions, and we have uh, control over the level of each of those repetitions. So, one of my favorite things to do is to have kind of a build effect by having them gradually get louder, gradually get louder. louder. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty, that's pretty cool. cool. Um, another thing we can do here is. Um, just to do a, uh, a little quicker control of this, we're going to add a number box. Let's add multiply by two. We'll duplicate that. Multiply by three. Duplicate that. Multiply by four. We're going to connect the number box to all three of these. And then we're going to connect all of these to the delay time. So first the number box to the first delay time, the times two to the second delay time, the times three to the third, the times four to the fourth. Then we have a quicker control over this. So let's do a hundred. And it will automatically uh, set each of these delay times so that the uh, amount of time between each repetition is the same. So now let's set the gains for that build, build effect again. Effect again. again. Try it out. OK, so the last thing we're going to do is make a vibrato delay, which is a little bit more complicated. So let's clear out all of these extra things. We're back to our simple delay. Um, and we can also clear out uh, the number. OK, so what we can do is control this, um, the delay time with a signal so that it changes in real time. So um, let's start by making a plus tilde. So it's at, uh, addition for audio signals. And we're going to connect that to tap out. Here, we can make a number box into the right inlet. And this will be our delay time. And so let's again set this to 200 milliseconds. Turn this up. up. Turn, 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 turn. OK, so this works. Uh, now let's add the vibrato part of it. So we're going to add multiply tilde. Send that down into the addition object. We're going to add a flow num, so the shortcut is F, into the multiply object. And this is going to be our vibrato depth. All right, let's condense this a bit. Um, OK. Uh, and then lastly, we're going to add a an oscillator. So we'll do cycle tilde. That's our sine wave oscillator. We're going to send that down into the multiply object. And we need, um, we'll also add a flow num into cycle, because we're going to need really slow speeds, LFO type speeds. And this will be our vibrato speed. So let's set our vibrato speed to 1, or 1 hertz. Uh, let's turn let's up turn our, delay. our delay. And when, and we, when turn we turn up, turn the, up depth, the depth, you're going to hear, gonna hear um, um, a, vibrato. a vibrato. We change we the change speed. The speed. Can, can probably have, have less, less depth. depth. We can change, we can change the, the time. time. 
Testing, Testing one, one, two, two three. three. So this is pretty cool. What's happening is that the signal is changing the delay time in real time so that when it is getting faster, the sound is compressed and is higher pitch. And when it is getting slower, the sound is stretched out and it's lower pitch. So we get this vibrato. So let's do... All right, All right, try, try it, out. it out. 